Hey guys, me Jonathan Graham. This is a little cube I designed last week. It's just a simple cube from two squares of paper and I thought I would show how to make it. So there'll be two different units. You want two squares. This is from six inch squares. So these are, these are duo. They have a lighter side, but this is how we make them. We're going to start, there's two different modules. So we're going to start with the white side up, in this case the lighter orange. And fold in half both ways. Horizontally and vertically, just like this. Make sure you line things up well when you do this. I'm going to fold the edges to the center. Rotate. Fold this edge to the center. And you're going to unfold this edge, and you're going to fold this in half to reinforce the crease there. Now you're going to fold these edges to the center. like that. And now there are two different types of units. There's a left hand unit and a right hand unit. We'll make the right hand unit first. They both start off with these same folds. So the right hand unit, holding it like this, the folded edge on the top, you're going to fold the right hand corner to this crease here. So it looks like this. And then you're going to take this side and fold it in like this. And we're going to flip this over and we're going to make a valley fold here and a valley fold here. And so the easier way to do it is you hold it like this, bring this edge to this crease, and just creasing this one square. Now we're going to rotate it here and bring this edge to this crease, folding this square in half. And now we're going to kind of like a box fold. We're going to fold first the one the this side first with the raw edge in first, just like that. And you're going to bring this side in, it'll fold in like this. And now with this tab, there's a crease here, we're going to fold this over. And kind of fold it inside if you want, but you really want it to be like that. That is one module complete. That's, a, that's the right hand unit, so if you hold it like this, the, the, um, this here is on the right side. Now we're going to do the left hand unit, it's pretty much the same. Fold white side up, in this case I want the dark blue to be the outside, so we want to fold it like this, just like before, unfold, fold in half, unfold, fold this edge to the center, rotate, fold this edge to the middle, and unfold, rotate so it's like this, and bring this edge to the center. Make sure you line things up when you do this, so everything turns out well. Rotate it, and bring this edge to the middle. So it's like that. Now this time we're gonna un we're gonna unfold not the right side. We're gonna unfold the left side. Make sure the crease is reinforced there. Unfold the left side and fold this corner down. This is the left hand module. Again, the folding, rest of the folding is pretty much the same. We flip it over, make a valley fold here, bring this raw edge to this crease, folding just this one square. And now this side, we do the exact same. We're going to bring this raw edge to here. This is double layer, so it's a bit thicker. That's why you want to use paper that's not too thick for this. And then fold over, flip over, and now bring this side in. Collapse on the existing creases and bring this side in, folding in on the existing creases. See now this is the left hand unit, you can see here, this is on the left side. Now we're going to fold this up on the existing crease, make sure to crease it really well, it's quite a few layers and it should be standing pretty much straight up and down, vertical like that. Now for the assembly. To assemble your cube, you're going to take the units like this, so you're going to take, it doesn't matter which one, in this case this is the left hand unit, and hold it so that this fold, this diagonal is on top, this one, so it's on the bottom. You're going to take this flap and just put it like that inside this model module. And now this corner goes under that flap, this, well this corner goes under this side, and this piece simply goes inside. So it looks like this. 
and you just push together and your cube, your two piece cube is finished and when you're done it's actually pretty sturdy you know you could use these to juggle with I guess or you know just they look cool you don't really, you don't really do much anything but they look cool so I hope you made that I guess you could make one of two, two of the same color of white you could draw dots and use it as a dice whatever you want but I think they just look cool just like that two different colors so that's pretty much it and I'll see you next time